Hello everyone, welcome to .NET Training Academy. This is the second part of the .NET Core 3.0 Essential Training. In the previous video, I covered the topics like uh, basics of computer programming and uh, um, basic things in programming like variables, data types, operators, expressions, and those kind of things. If you are not familiar on those topics, please go ahead and watch that and come back here. So first, we talk about decision making. We are going to take a decision in our day-to-day -day life just like that, computer is also make decisions in certain situations. Not making a decision is a big decision. Decision making in programming is very essential thing. So now let's see about the syntax of how to create a decision. Basically, it would be something like the keyword that we are going to use, something like if inside of the parenthesis, we have to declare some expressions. The expression may be anything, whether this number is greater than or that number, or this value which is in the left hand side, which is equal to right hand side, and those kind of ex expressions can be evaluated. This can only evaluate either true or false. So which means if the condition is true, it will do this stuff, or if it is false, it will go and do some other stuff. So basically, if the condition is true, it will get inside of the block, or the if block. If it is false, it will get in the other portion, which is the else block. So now I just created a simple console application. For now, I wanted you guys don't care about these piece of code, at least for a couple of episodes. So because hopefully you don't going to understand these kind of things if you are a beginner. The only thing which you guys need to concentrate, which is inside of this main block. So basically, this is Visual Studio. This is far more better than any IDE in the world. Basically, the IDE is you don't need to type any commands to get it done because you are having the user interface to make things prettier. So that's like we can click this green button, which is something like a play button to run and execute the project. So just like we expect, it will throw the output as hello world. And yes, here it is. So let's just close this application. Uh, let's create a BNI calculator which is done in the previous episode. double so now I think everything will be fine let's just run by control F5 1.83 and the weight is going to be 54 uh, so that is the BMI so how can we implement if condition in this scenario you can see the chart the ranges of the BMI okay so to be frank and so we can evaluate the condition based on the range which means the BMI range if you are less than 19 then you are underweight and if you are uh, from 19 to 24 you are normal and if you are greater than 24 24 to 27 then you are weight I uh, mean overweight and if you are greater than 27 in a sense you are obese so which means very fat um, so uh, let's check the expression or the condition based on this range right so let's get started so first thing is i'm going to check out the condition if a bmi value this is going to be the identifier uh, which we are going to evaluate because the value the final value calculated value of bmi is stored in this particular variable so we have to calculate that thing bmi value is less than i mean less than 10 less than 19 it's going to be we just, well, let's say you are too lean and please put on some weight 
Okay, fine. Else, you are not mean, right? So this is the basic and simple evaluation, and it's it's something like a binary evaluation. Either if it is true, and it will get inside of it and print the statement. If it is not true, it will goes to the other part, which is the else part, and prints the statement. So now let's just run this program. So on point 85, and weight is 56. So here the range BMI value is 16.36238.25. to So here you cannot see it's just a number, right? Your so the so it is so it's just showing the message. You're too lean and please put on some weight. And when you come to see here, it's just a simple number. You cannot see what the thing is going on there, right? So uh, instead of printing just a value, we can make a string interpolation, which means the string uh, concatenation with the BMI value. So let's do that. So all you need to do is to, to uh, put a dollar symbol, and inside of the double quotes, we have to use these things. So we don't. Uh, so we can also put some words like uh, the actual the total BMI value of U is identifier which is used inside of the string so we have so to distinguish that we have to put the curly brace before and after that particular variable so now if we run this program we can get something like 1.88 and 56 yes your total BMI value of U is 15.84 and you're too lean please put on some weight exactly the thing that we wanted so the next thing is we have something extra conditions to carry on right so if uh, BMI value um, is so BMI value should be greater than 19 and 19 to 24 which means it should be between the 19 and 24 so I hope you got it. We have to use the logical expression which is called AND. And this is the symbol to represent the AND in C sharp. So we have to use the symbol and it should be less than, not only less, uh, it should be greater than 19 and it should be less than 24. Okay, this is fine. So here uh, I'm just going to copy this guy right here and print it out. You are normal. And keep going like that and we all also I need to put something over here like BMI which is less than 24 and which is greater than 24 and less than 27 right so paste it over here uh, the BMI value doesn't fit inside of these any kind of expression means then it will be uh, goes into the else part right and instead of the else, we have to set the expression something like this. BMI value should be greater than, if it is greater than 27, then it's going to be U or obese. So that's it. So you are having the expression. So, have, so we are having one, two, three, four, four different kind of conditions. Uh, we are evaluating four different kinds of uh, conditions. So let's check that out if it is working perfectly. Yes, it's working exactly that we wish. And let's check for another kind of numbers. 1.87 and the weight would be something like uh, 80, 88. Ah, oh, yeah, you're overweight, please reduce some weight. So this is what exactly we expected and it's working fine. But there is still some issue in this thing. So let's debug this application to know what kind of issue that we are dealing with, right? So 86 and 77. Okay, fine. So here, uh, the BMI value is 22.25, you can see over here, and all you need to do is to step over to the next uh, line. So actually the 19, because the BMI value is 22, which is uh, less than 19, it evaluates false. You can see that thing here. So if you hover your mouse and get it done here, BMI value is less than 19, which is false. And here, BMI value, uh, which is greater than 19, uh, which is true, and which is, uh, and BMI value is less than 24 and this is also true when both the condition uh, sets into true in the end then it will be going to be true so the true and true is equal to true so so probably this will get inside of this block and it will print the output that we need checking this condition and it is uh, if it is true then it's coming to check this condition here we get the output that we needed right so if we step over again it is also evaluating this guy right here this is purposeless because we need 
the value is evaluated and we get the output over there, then why it need to evaluate the unnecessary expressions, right? So obviously, if this block gets inside of this, we don't need to check that uh, these kind of things. But so this is the problem. For example, let's say this thing takes 0 0.30 millisecond to evaluate and 0 0.30 millisecond to evaluate this, 32 millisecond to evaluate this, and 0 0.32 millisecond to evaluate this, and 0 0.30 millisecond to evaluate this. So the computer is going to evaluate all the conditions like 0 0.30 30 plus 32 62 and it's going to be 94 and finally 124 0 .100, 1.24 seconds is going to be evaluated so we need a solution for this right if some condition evaluated when it comes to true it need not to care about other stuffs right so for that we have to use something called else if like else if and here we don't need to care about this guy right here because it's going to be else right this is perfect so let's try to run so again so let's say 1.85 and uh, 78 so here it will not be true because uh, the actual value of BMI is 22 point something so let's just step over and if we check it is true because both the uh, this is 22 which is between 19 and 24 and it will evaluate and then it will comes out of the entire division of conditions right the reason is if uh, the power of else is if this one gets into true it didn't care about the next pieces of conditions so that is the fantastic thing when it comes to else if condition uh, so you might have a situation you don't need to care about other kind other things if you are done with this expression so not only that it will also save you the 0 0.32 plus 0 0.30 which is equal to 0 0.62 seconds of computer evaluation these kind of little bit niche things will help you to grow your software performance so this is how you can use the if condition and this is all you need to use, uh, learn about the if condition that's it for this video if you like this video please like if you have any doubts please comment that below and just share this video to your friends and if you're not subscribed please subscribe